I forgot to close cheat engine. I didn't even use it. I, I got banned. Yeah, <laughs> my account is gone. <laughs> but yeah, that's how. Razvije and hello everyone. Today we are talking about cheat engine. Yeah. Is cheat engine dangerous? Or is it safe to use? Long story short, Cheat Engine is not going to give you a virus, but there are still dangers associated with using it. There are things that you can do to circumvent certain dangers or, let's say, inconveniences that come with installing it. But overall, it's the best game hacking tool we have for PC. It started by looking at the main website of Cheat Engine. It's called CheatEngine.org. The version that you will find here is a version that is slightly inconvenient, but it is the official version, it does work. However, there is the slight thing that um, certain antiviruses actually detect this software as malware or unwanted software. Because, well, at least over time, as I've used it and installed it many, many times on many, many PCs, Cheat Engine does in order to make money, monetize their content, uh, besides of course the ads, which I can't blame them, I do those too on HackerBot.net. By the way guys, if you want legitimate game cheating software from legitimate sources, go to HackerBot.net, just google HackerBot or Game Hacks and go to find free cheats. You can also find cheat tables in here, which are of course usable with a cheat engine. So if you want to find, for example, a cheat table for the Witcher, you can just Witcher 3 cheat table and you will be able to find working trainers and cheat tables for the Witcher 3, just as an example. HackerBot.net works for any game, by the way. Anyways, back to cheat engine. So <laughs> of course, cheat engine is a legitimate tool, but as I said, Cheat Engine does tend to install stuff on your computer that you don't want. Now, in the past, as I've used it, what they usually have done is just, you know, changed my search engine. There wasn't really an opt-out button, it just happened. Um, it must be somewhere in the terms of service or whatever. So that is why it is detected as an unwanted software by many antiviruses. At the moment, by the way, if I try to download Cheat Engine through CheatEngine.org, the official website, um, it doesn't actually work. So I don't know if my antivirus is blocking the download or what's going on, but it's weird. So there is a way to circumvent the unwanted software that is automatically being installed. However, there is another problem. Um, of course, um, back in the day, they had a version of Cheat Engine that you could download as a RAR or a .zip file that you could unpack and run the software without installing it. However, now you need to join a Patreon. Of course, you need to pay money if you want that version of Cheat Engine. So um, <laughs> over at Cheatware.net, we have that version of Cheat Engine. I think it's 7.1. It's not the latest version, but it's free. It's from back when they used to offer this non-installation version of Cheat Engine for free. Now they don't do it anymore. You can just Google Cheatware and go to cheatware.net and you should find Cheat Engine on cheatware.net or you can just Google Cheatware Cheat Engine and we should be able to find a Cheat Engine for PC. There we go. You can download this version of Cheat Engine. I think it's version 7.1 at this point and it does come with the non-installation version, okay? That's just a .zip or .rar file that you can unpack and then you will have a folder where you can run Cheat Engine out of directly without installing it, which means you circumvent the installation of unwanted software on your computer. By the way, Cheat Engine itself is clean, okay? It's not gonna install viruses on your system or anything. Um, it's basically soft adware, I guess. <laughs> um, it's just you can't opt out of the uh, changing the search engine. I don't know what they do these days. Some kind of pay for installation scheme. I don't know. They're trying to make money. I understand making money using software is difficult. So I do understand why they're doing it. Of course, people that download Cheat Engine are very tech savvy and would all opt out of um, installing unwanted software if they were asked about it. So I understand why they're doing it. It's still kind of shady. I think um, maybe making a pro version of Cheat Engine that is paid, uh, but not installing unwanted software or ads on your system would be a another option that they could go for, but I'm not running their business and <laughs> I don't 
I don't claim to know much about um, monetizing software in general. I just think there might it's it's not ideal the way it is right now because a lot of antiviruses detect cheat engine as a virus and that really undermines trust into an otherwise exquisite software like this is the best cheating software there is on any system like you could even argue that it's the best android game hacking tool as well because you can use it to hack emulators and therefore also android games so yeah overall there are, of course, caveats. I would recommend go to cheatware.net, download Cheat Engine from there. It will come with the no installation packet. It's not going to be the latest version 7.4, but generally you will not need the latest version 7.4. I might update to um, the, a newer version, but I'm not going to subscribe to the Patreon just to, to download a version of cheat engine that doesn't come with an installer it's just i'm sorry <laughs> it's not worth it to me anyways another thing when it comes to safety and using cheat engine is entirely unrelated to the installation process more to the software itself now the software is not stealthed so it's always gonna be the cheat engine process on your system that means any game that has any kind of advanced anti-cheating mechanism can detect cheat engine running on your PC. So here's the deal. Never, ever, ever run any online game, any major online game while having cheat engine open, okay? It doesn't matter whether you connected uh, cheat engine to the game or not. If you have, it's even worse. Um, most games will automatically ban your account, okay? And, and you're going to have to have to do a lot of explaining to customer support uh, for them to unban you. So it's literally the easiest way to get banned from any online game by just not remembering that you had Cheat Engine open. Oopsie! Please, guys, never run any online game while having Cheat Engine open. It's literally the most popular game hacking tool out there for PC. So PC games hate Cheat Engine. So a lot of them will automatically ban you. Some will even freeze and not let you play single player games uh, if you have Cheat Engine open. So um, please be very, very careful. It's literally the easiest way to get banned. And it has, I'm not proud to admit, but it has happened to me. <laughs> I think it was Warframe. I forgot to close Cheat Engine. Uh, I didn't even use it on Warframe. Uh, I got banned. Yeah, <laughs> my account is gone. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you learn. It's very painful. So that's the other thing. First thing, adware, uh, unwanted software on your computer can be circumvented by simply going to cheatware.net uh, and downloading the version from there with the no installation packet. If you decide to install the official setup, uh, well, once it starts working again, I don't know what's going on with the download right now. Um, it's not going to ruin your system, okay? It might change your default search engine from Google to Bing or whatever, uh, from DuckDuckGo to Bing. Uh, yeah, that's how they get paid. I get it. If you want to support Cheat Engine without um, subscribing to their Patreon or donating, that's a good way to do it. I still think there must be a better way than changing people's search engine i mean we're so annoyed by free software changing our search engine otherwise like always changing it back but yeah i guess it's just a reality of the software market if you want to support cheat engine just you know let them change your default search engine change it back and you know <laughs> be done with it know that you've supported a very very good software because this software is literally the best game hacking tool out there and has been for a long while they've been in business for I don't know how long, but HackerBot is almost 10 years old at this point, and Cheat Engine has been around for much longer. Anyways, guys, we are sponsored, of course, by HackerBot.net, your number one source for game hacking tools and game, ha game hacking software in order to get the best cheats available for any game that you're looking at. Just Google Game Hacks or HackerBot. Go to HackerBot.net and go to Find Free Cheats. Enter the name of your game, such as PUBG Mobile 0.19, and download the best mods, cheats, game hacking tools, and whatever else game hacking fantasy, power fantasy that you might be dreaming about. 
And of course, we also feature cheat tables, which are arguably the best cheating software or trainers for PC at this point. Um, the Cheat Engine has a great community of game hackers that provide free game hacking tools and scripts such as cheat tables um, as well. They're at Fearless Revolution at this point. I think they had to move because of copyright issues. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah, we're featuring those on HackerBot.net as well. So, despite all the uh, little annoyances and their slight issues with getting banned, um, they are very easily circumvented and Cheat Engine is by far the best software out there for you guys to use. And with all that being said, I bid you adieu and uh, privyet, grossavietze.